In the University of Washington Communication Department, within the journalism program, one of our top draws to our program is our Olympia Legislative uh, Reporting class. Uh, in that class, the students learn about state government, how to cover state government, and take the skills that they have learned in all of their journalism class, their core classes, and their electives, and bring them into a real world reporting experience. The students who come to this internship become part of the press corps. Uh, and what that press corps does down here is it serves millions of readers around the state. There are fewer journalists in Olympia because of cutbacks at news outlets. Uh, there's so much that happens here though that affects people directly and our students are informing the state. I'm doing an internship with um, the Tacoma News Tribune and the Olympian as well as their partner newspaper. And um, currently, I don't know, I'm just kind of going about looking for interesting things to cover that are getting interesting bills that are being heard in the committees um, to see interesting topics that I would like to cover and write about. I wrote a story recently that was on the A1 section of the, um, of the newspaper this, this past Saturday about rape kits and rape kits testing in our state. Um, currently there's like a big, n not just like statewide, but national issue where a lot of um, rape kits aren't being tested. And um, there was a bill um, that would require police stations and law enforcement agencies to recommend that those rape kits be tested whenever they get a new one. And so I just thought it'd be a really important issue to talk, talk about. And yeah, one of the really um, cool things aside from just being here and working, you know, in this professional experience that I'm actually living down here in Olympia and I'm really immersed in, you know, this culture of, you know, being a full-time journalist. Uh, I'm doing an internship for the Seattle Times in Olympia reporting on the state legislature and the state legislative session this year. Um, I really enjoy being able to work with professional reporters who are just doing their everyday job. You know, they're not specifically here to be there for me, but you know, they teach you a whole lot along the way, you know, just being around them and learning from that process and working with reporter or with editors that would be um, who are doing the same, you know, that it's it's not a teacher who's giving you a grade, it's an editor who's doing their job and you learn so much from that. I was working on a story um, about a bill the other day. Um, and you know, I, I thought I had a story with that was pretty fleshed out. You know, that was pretty solid, ready to go. And and, um, and my editor liked the story, but um, and we, it ended up going on the front page. But um, we had to spend a lot of time on the phone, just really working with nitty gritty details and facts. And I had um, you know a couple of small things that broke on the story that I had to go out and get more stuff for. Um, and so she was really there for me, stayed uh, up pretty late working with me to figure that story out. And it ended up going on the front page the next day, which was my first time being on the front page of the newspaper. I'm doing an internship as an editorial intern at TVW, and that's the state's version of C-SPAN. I've done a lot. They've, it's been, I've been really lucky. They've been just sort of throwing me in. So I've done a lot of writing for um, the TV shows they have three. I've been working on one in particular with Anita Kase. It's called The Impact. And I will uh, start this week doing my own packages, doing stand-ups. Um, they also have a blog, which I've been doing a lot of sort of exercising that uh, writing portion and just churning out content. So that's been really valuable too, to just go to a hearing and get something out really quickly. When you're down here, you are not an intern. I don't think anybody knows that you are. You're not definitely not treated like one. You're really going out there like the rest of um, the press corps, and that's really helpful. That's really valuable because you kind of have to learn on your feet. I think the first couple days are a little scary for people, but as soon as you get in there and just start learning, um, it's it's more valuable. You learn 
way more that way. So I am an intern with Washington Newspaper Publishers Association. Um, what I am doing basically is the WMPA, it's like a content contributor, like AP for Washington, and we have about 116 local community papers, and um, not all of them can send a reporter up to the Capitol, and this is the way for me to finish my school because we're getting school credits and also getting real hands-on experience reporting from the Capitol. So there's another part of the bill that has to do with how this tax will be applied to the tribes. Um, are you familiar with that section as well? So when I was taking a journalism class and I had to talk to a source, it almost came from a level of like trying to hunt them down and trying to almost beg them to talk to me and having to explain what I'm doing and who I am versus with this internship you are put into a position to be on the same level as all the other reporters and it just gives you so much more um, I guess credibility, not necessarily authority, but you just have the ability to reach everybody and the legislators were the sources. They come to you, they want to talk to you, and they provide you all the information you need and you are taken very seriously. Um, it's a, You have so much resources, you can talk to just about anybody and they don't see you as an intern, they see you as, oh, you're a reporter and you are reporting on this issue, let me talk to you. I'm doing an internship at the Washington Newspaper Publishers Association, which is a wire service for Washington's community newspapers. Um, me and one other student are the Olympia News Bureau for the next three months, and we are writing stories to cover, uh, covering the legislation that will be circulated out to about 130 client papers all across the state. My name is Cooper Inveen. I'm a reporter with the Washington Newspaper Publishers Association. I'm writing a story about a about sudden cardiac arrest, and I gave her a call. The only other real world reporting experience I have is in Freetown, Sierra Leone, and that was only for a short amount of time. And that whole atmosphere is just so different to the environment here because it's just a very laid back sort of sort of place, everything moves rather slowly, whereas in Olympia everything's moving at a million miles an hour the entire time and if you blink you're gonna miss something and that can be really stressful a lot and it was it was pretty stressful for that first week especially but I'm kinda starting to get more into the groove of it but uh, it's very very necessary because every time I'm having trouble I just can look to the uh, the Seattle Times or KPLU guys who are doing twice as much work as me and making much better material and content and I mean that's where any journalism student wants to be with their careers and so it really helps having uh, I don't know kind of these uh, these inspirational figures around you that are inspirational in the sense that they are doing what you want to do so much better than you and you they're seeing it everybody's stuff's online and so you need to or at least I'm constantly thinking about how to make how how to compare with these guys, even though I know I I really can't. The reason I chose the Olympia internship was because there is just no other internship where you can get the kind of training and time spent just straight reporting as you can in a university setting. You know, it's. Um, if I were to take another internship, maybe it's part-time here, part-time there. I was at another position at the Seattle Times, but I wasn't really getting much writing in. But this is 40 hours a week and a little more. Uh, and it's, you know, just straight reporting. It's all the job skills that you need. And so it's just learning, learning, learning the whole time. Um, and that's the reason I took this internship was because there's just nothing better you can do to prepare yourself for the journalism field than to launch yourself into the fishbowl that is state government and work with all sorts of interests, special interests, and, and all sorts of really, really complex issues, you know. And, and I learn a lot in specific classes in school, but let me tell you, when you're down here reporting, man, do you have to get up on issues quick. You know, I've never known more about distracted driving in my entire life. I've never known more about, you know, environmental issues or uh, issues related to marijuana legislation. I've never known more about that stuff than I do right now. And that's a whole different type of learning that people don't think about with a reporting job. So not only am I preparing myself with news skills and reporting skills but you're getting yourself life and knowledge skills as well, as well along the way that you know maybe you don't get in a university setting always you know